I'm crossing the Mexican border into Baja, California, where the Seri Indians have a legend of a longboat arriving on their shores carrying strange, tall people with yellow hair, and the front of their boat was shaped like a dragon. The Seris even immortalized the legend by carving what they saw in stone. I've only ever seen a picture of the petroglyph, but I've called a local historian to lead me to it so I can try to date it. If it's old enough, then maybe the Seri Indians witnessed a band of Vikings that could have carried Harry Atkins' artifacts into the desert. This petroglyph that we're gonna look at is so important and I'm really anxious to see it. So tell me a little bit more about it. What it shows is that the native people from over a thousand years ago, perhaps, saw the ship go by and it moved them so much that they had to inscribe it into rock. Well, this wouldn't be the first petroglyph of a ship that looked to be European carved by Native Americans that I've seen. There's actually one right near the shore of Lake Superior up in the UP of Michigan. The ship carving has the same square shaped sail as the petroglyph I'm about to check out in Baja. In the past, I've also considered whether that ship was Minoan, a Mediterranean culture that used a sail similar to the Vikings. But I think both carvings could be evidence that not one, but multiple Viking voyages ended far into the lands of the New World. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah. Make it bigger. Watch your footing. I'll take a bullet if there's a rattlesnake. Oh, there it is. This sticks out like a sore thumb. I see a ship, I see the curved bow, and it looks like it could be a Viking ship. You've got what looks like a sail standing on a vertical mast right in the middle that has upturned front end and an upturned back end. Just look at the detail that went into the sail and something definitely stood out with these people on what they saw. That almost looks like a tongue or water coming out of the mouth of a dragon or a snake. Take a look at this. You can see the bow of the ship. There's your rectangular sail, a single mast. You've got the dragon on the front. It looks very, very similar. What I'm most interested in is this petroglyph's age. The Vikings were exploring around the year 1000 AD. If this petroglyph is as old as that, it could be a connection. Obviously, scholars and academics have looked at this. How old do they say this is? They've dated it approximately 1000 to 1500 AD. Well, <laughs> that's right in our wheelhouse for the Vikings. I'm gonna take a closer look at this with my hand lens. Looks like some quartz, micas, and organics build up on the surface. They're also starting to build up again within the lines, so this has been here a while. As far as how old it is, you know, 1,000 to 1,500, this petroglyph could prove that the Vikings did come to the Southwest. And if that all pans out, we're talking about a huge historical rewrite.